Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Battlelord. This is a Knight's Tale, and we are here with William and his army outside of Lanokin Castle, uh, which is now owned by Finn Gaial, who hate us, so that's why we're not starting off in a settlement. We are still waging two wars, one to the south and one to the east. Hopefully we can return to the east because I feel like that's going to be a bit of a better push for us. But we need to make sure that we keep the uh, Western Empire, yes, the Western Empire busy. So perhaps we could have a look at taking another castle from them. Because the castles really don't seem to be as much trouble for us at the moment. They seem to not be defending them as, uh, as much as one might think. I would like to try and visit Pinconok. Uh, along the way and you know what we actually do have an enemy lord here which I'm sure with 625 we would be able to um, show them a thing or two that is if we can catch them and I don't think we're going to be able to yeah as an army we are going to be that little bit slower and it looks like we've got a few armies around here we've got Morkon to the south now and I think we also have Vartan who is all the way over here at Omor currently Skorin is getting raided though which is not so fun hmm oh no Vartan you're over here but you're heading to Omor I see I see wonderful well make it there quickly my friend we are going to carry on towards the city and as we arrive in the city it looks like there is a bid to make peace with the western empire now I wouldn't be opposed to that looking at our borders currently the way the snow sits, it is a very natural border for us here in the West. So perhaps, but we'll see who is uh, wanting this to happen, first of all. It looks like it's Cervic, and Cervic we're kind of on board with, so we could spend a little bit of influence here and get a friend. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's end this war for now. There we go. War with the Western Empire is finished for now. So that might mean that we can focus on our friends here in the east, still in the Sturgeon lands. If we're going to help free our Sturgeon brothers... <laughs> okay, look, how can we spin this? You know, we're going to have to try and push back across here. We do have quite a few Sturgeons in Vlandia, so I'm sure they're wanting to reclaim some of their territory. Although, you know, there are just as many Sturgeons uh, <laughs> with the other factions, so... Yeah, I guess we'll see how things play out. Having a look at our prisoners, I'm tempted to just drop off the militia spearmen, just because they really aren't going to be that great for us. There are some veteran archers here, but yeah, they just take up a lot of space, and more than likely, we're going to be able to get better uh, troops. Better prisoners, that is. Well, it turns out there is a tournament here, but before the tournament, we're going to want to try and do a little bit of trading. And just because it's been a while, we're going to have a look at uh, smelting down some of the many, many weapons that we've had. We've been collecting so much here, so I'm going to make sure that we use all of our smithing stamina across every single one of our characters. So here's where we're sitting after all of that smelting. We're looking very, very good in terms of our resources. But yes, it's time for us now to fight. It looks like ah, our brother is here. Fantastic. Well, good luck to you. We're all fighting for some Highland Chainmail. We'll go ahead and place a big bet on ourselves, and let's get started. And oh boy, yeah, it looks like we're all rocking two-head weapons here. And there are some archers, so we'll roll with that how we can. That's Aldrich down. Lacallion falls next, and Liana. I don't know if we want it to be us to kill you. We might not get a chance. There we go. We'll be gentle. Oh, hey. Gerald. That's my wife. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. We've got Alvar and Lucand in the next round. Let's see. We've got to be Gerald here. Okay. Let's see how we do. Batanian horsemen. Let's swing well. Try to. Good swinging, Chirled, but not good enough. 
And we're up against Alva and Lucant here, so let's hope our horseman is going to be able to uh, do something for us here. Oh, wow. Yep, most certainly is. Alva is down. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And we are up against our horseman friend now. No other weapons, no other choice. William, let's get ready to do this thing. Oh, 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 oh. a swing and a miss. Oh my god. You got right through us. Holy crap, that was very close. <laughs> But at the end of it all, William is the winner, and we should have got some extra renown from that, so I don't know if that was more than normal, but hey, here we are. And unfortunately, that Highland Chainmail really isn't going to be good for anyone. Even Dwayne, we want you to be nice and lightly armoured. Cheryl, you're looking alright there. Yeah. Well, we still have this great big army. We don't have a huge amount of influence, so we're going to have to try and make use of it quickly. As to where we go next, Of Castle is the obvious run so let's see if we can make it there before our cohesion breaks us apart well i can't help myself while riding past maranath here we've discovered there is actually a tournament taking place it is our city so well i think it's only right that we fight all right it is a free-for-all here looks like we're going to be up against arnwin first oh arnwin with the excellent swing there oh Okay, and who do we have over here? Lucand. Hey, buddy. Let's try and dodge and weave. Good dodging, William. Bloody hell. All right, well, now we've got Belgear on our team. Oh, dear. Oh, Liana. Oh, watch out behind you, buddy. Osea and, and Liana working together here. I'm sorry, my dear. All right. Cheryl, let's throw down, buddy. Oh, well done, son. Well done. But we did do enough to qualify. All right, we're with Belgear. Oh, rather, we're against Belgear. Okay, buddy, let's see how we do. Okay, two big swings and a third to knock you down. And in the final, we're up against Cheryl. And you know what? The prize is actually one of our swords. One of our crafted two-handed weapons, which I suppose is... Fair, seems this is our city. Cheryl? Oh, ho, ho, ho. tough. Well done, my friend. But today, we are the victor. We will take that renown, we will take that sword back, sure. <laughs> and we'll leave the city behind. Just quickly having a look and seeing how we're doing here. We're going good. We've got some orchards which are going to be grown before long. And not having a governor here is actually working out quite well for us. The loyalty is staying nice and high, which means the prosperity will continue to rise. Things will be on their way up. And something I've been meaning to do for a while is drop off all these looters that we have, because we can't actually upgrade them, even though we have them set. We need to have a disciplinarium to be able to upgrade them out of the bandit tree. So we're just going to go ahead and dump them all in here. Yeah. There we go. We've actually got some militia archers as well, so we'll make sure that we drop those off. We've got 12 militia spearmen. Yeah, let's go ahead and just have you return to there and see if there's anyone else. Ah, a veteran. Still, I think you'll be more useful over there. And I think that's us looking pretty good. Yeah, good. I think we'll be able to recruit from some of our prisoners now. And we ride out once again across this... Uh, large raised area of Batania. Hmm, a bit of a fight going on there for now, but things are looking okay, and ah, well, our relation dropped a little bit. I wonder why. I'm pretty sure it's because we're keeping many of their lords prisoner. That's maybe got something to do with it. Well, our cohesion is getting rather low, and we are on our way to foreign at the moment. Let's go ahead and just give that a little bit of a boost. So one, two, three. 30 spent, and I hope it is worth it. Yeah, Mazadan is under attack now. Well, if we can make it there quickly, we might be able to upset this, uh, ooh, this fight that's happening there. Let's try and be quick. We might end up just catching the tail end of it. Yeah, looks to be the case. There's quite a few of them here. I'm not sure if we can bait them into an attack or not, but uh, yeah, they're gonna be troublesome for a while, I'm sure. 
We might actually be able to catch that 96. Uh, doesn't look like that's going to happen. Unfortunately, they are still just a little bit faster than us. Even if there are still many of them grouped together, I don't think we're going to be able to get them very easily here. They're just going to ride back on and out of here. So with that being the case, let's see if we can maybe disrupt this. It looks like Omor is under attack. We took the time to take it. Let's see if we can actually defend it here. Okay, we've got some caravans making their way in here, so... Oh, Vartan's army just upset that, huh? Yeah. You actually don't have much going on in that army, my friend. But, Anat, I think we would like to face you. Besieging Georgios Castle, I don't think so, my friend. You know what, I'd be very... <laughs> grateful if you could help us out here. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. So, instead, we'll just try and see if we can get you in the open field. You are running from us now. Traveling to Epigrotia, so you're not going to help us out, unfortunately. Well, it looks like we're going to be fighting in the woods. Not much we can do about that. We'll just continue to trace them down, hopefully, before that group comes to help. And there we go. And that, it's time for us to fight. And that balance is looking... Well, relatively balanced. We should give our friends here a chance to actually recruit some new troops. I've been a little bit bad with that. But, nevertheless, we are here to fight, and fight we shall. Alright, and here we are, and it's a rough battlefield, as kind of expected with us being amongst the trees. And I think we are going to be the ones Infantry, that have to be the aggressors here. Infantry, so let's apart. just get our archers Infantry. set and ready. We're going to make sure that everyone here is dismounted. And you start marching forwards. Let's go ahead and get in a shield wall. Cavalry. cavalry will half you off towards the side. And we'll make sure that we have you in a nice skein. As for our horse archers, we'll be sure to try and send you in. Let's just have a look and see. Yeah. They've got quite a few cav. Let's ride to the front. Well, I don't see any amazing locations for this battle. I suppose we might just have to try and set up here. There's a bit of a ridge, a bit of a bridge. We might be able to take advantage of that. Looks like they're kind of just staying over here for now. Hmm. Maybe over here. Let's just have a look and see. I'm not sure if this is a map that we've been on before could possibly be. It's looking okay. There's a nice open field here, and I kind of like the look of that, so let's see if we can go with that. I think we're probably going to have to send our cavalry in against theirs. Yep, looks like it's starting. So, I would like you to be here, and you to be here. The others are just going to stay for now, so we'll see if we can disrupt this cavalry charge. With our own, of course. There we go. I think that's some disrupting. Whoop. No kills yet. From either side. Just keep disrupting all these horse archers. It's just a bit of a mess at the moment. After a little while, we will get our others to move around. Wow, they've actually got here really fast. I'm very happy about that. Okay, cavalry, cavalry let's get you back over here again. Horse archers. archers. You know what? You can probably keep doing what you're doing for a little bit longer. That's long Whoa. enough. <laughs> get back on over here. Okay, so Footman. archers, I want you to be holding your fire Old for now. And I think I want you to start Forward. moving up. Soldiers, move. Let's just wait and see what's going to happen here. We're all good for now. Really? We just got one of them running into us here? Alright. Send the cavalry as a counter charge. As soon as our archers are in position, we will start firing. Everyone's moving up. The cavalry are moving in against their own. Um, okay, so let's see. I want you all to be facing that way. Same with you. Face that way! Infantry! So up Move. here like that. 
Okay, now archers. Fire at will. Do your thing. Okay, we might have to get you to move on up. Infantry. Just like so. Okay, Cav, let's get you back. Forward. Ideally, we'll have the cavalry over this side here. Is this a river? There's some kind of ditch between us. I do like that. I want to see if we can use our own cavalry to get behind them. Sorry, buddy. I'm kind of screwing you up there a little bit, aren't I? Let's bring them back towards our line of archers, which is quite a line, my I add. We do have a little bit of a ridge here, which I'm not super happy about. We might have to see if we can navigate around that for now. Or, alternatively, just start pushing up towards the ridge that's there. Okay, Orders. tell you what. Let's get you over here, Kev. Move. I do want them to do a rear charge. Infantry. Get our archers to move up a little bit further. Move. Infantry. And our own to move Forward. up to here. We've got one random bloke up on a hill. I think even just being able to see some of them here, we should be able to get them with our archers. Our cab are having a bit of a hard time making it over there. Move. Keep on going. Keep on going. Don't worry, we'll send you around soon. Cavalry. I want you to go there Move. next. And just make your way around. Their cavalry will get taken out by our archers and our footmen. And I'm just going to continue to miss with ours. Come on, Spear. Do me a solid. <laughs> Stabbing way too early. Well, at least they're doing something. Horsemen, you do your thing. Get our own archers to start to advance up further. Unfortunately, our cavalry charge wasn't exactly as I wanted it. So we'll go ahead and pull back again. Just right behind them. Off in the distance. They're a bit scattered at the moment. Looks like Lucand was just taken down by a horseman. And it looks like we're going to have to pull our archers back. We've got them attacking now, so that's good. We'll just fall back because they're about to come over this ridge. Yep, here they come. So our archers will be falling back. They'll be able to get in a few good shots. Let's just see. Good, 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 good. Excellent. Okay, archers continue to fall back. Infantry, I want you to advance. There we go. A good little swap. Cavalry, come back and charge. Same thing with our horse archers. Actual archers, you're fine where you are right now. Alright. Oh boy. It's getting messy. Hard to tell exactly what's going down right now. William is a little injured. We're seeing some big spikes and lag. And it looks like their infantry just went around the side of us. So the advance hasn't gone exactly as intended. <laughs> and these spare charges really aren't that great either. Okay, we'll see if we can help out our friends over here. Their own troops don't really seem to 100% know what they're doing. Okay, we've got some more friends here. I think every single time we see one of those lag spikes, it's because we are having reinforcements coming in on one side or the other. Okay, I think we might want to get our infantry line to reset. Back here for now, thank you. We're actually going to get them out of the shield wall, just so they can move a little bit faster. We'll try and see if we can clear up these units that are just hanging out over here. For some reason, our... Uh, Couch Lance just doesn't seem to be catching them the same way. Or maybe my aim is just off. Hold here for now, line. You're doing a good job. Oh dear. 
more of their folks making their way in over there. Cavalry! Cavalry's taken a bit of a bashing. Let's go get them back for now. Forward! Ah, right, those reinforcements. Infantry! Okay, they seem to keep on trying to come through on our right flank, so we'll see if we can just pivot back towards them. Oh boy. Lots of green though. So we're still holding on out against them. Nope. Yeah, we're not catching them with this anymore. Alright. So, I think we'll just end up doing some stabbing. Hold our own against this charge. Try to. Come on, William. Alright, the horse is down. Let's keep our shield out. Balance bar is heavily in our favor currently. Yeah. Not much of a chance there. Well. The music's turning in our favor. We're trying to keep our troops focused. Move on up. Unfortunately, they are advancing the wrong way. So let's tell them to charge this way. Start to envelop the enemy. Press the advantage now. Archers, I'm going to tell you to advance as well. So they can move back if they wish. Yeah. Crush now. Keep on moving through. Not sure what you were doing, mate. You're not alive anymore. Last few troops remaining now. William took a bit of a bashing there. It wasn't exactly the best battlefield for us, but in the end, we have come out on top. And surprisingly enough, it hasn't told us that our enemies are... Uh, yeah, retreating yet. But we're looking at 101 deaths on our side and 348 on theirs. William's party only lost 12. We had 36 that are injured. All in all, not that bad of a fight, I gotta say. And, well, even though it's not letting us finish the battle now, well, I guess I spoke too soon. The battle is won. It was messy. It could have been a lot cleaner. I think we'll try and improve on that in the future. Okay, looks like a lot of prisoners were taken. That, that is good. And we can even do some recruiting here. So I'll have a look, see what we can grab and get us some prisoners. Well, we are over our prisoner limit after that. So we're gonna make sure that we ride back here as quickly as we can to Amor to drop off some of those prisoners and perhaps do a little bit of recovery. Yeah, of castle, you'll just have to wait a little bit longer. Well, just trading off the bits and pieces that we got from the fight is uh, gonna give us a fair amount of gold. Happy to take that. And wouldn't you know it, it just so happens there is a tournament here. Well, it looks like it's all, yeah, it's all special characters, wanderers. Okay, let's see how we shape up. Oh, William, you are a little injured. Okay, Cadfin, let's throw down. I really don't like fighting these. <laughs> oh, and we're fighting alongside Liana. Fantastic. Well, let's whoa. Try to avenge our wife and take down our brother here. Yeah, the spear and shield I am not a fan of. Especially when it's just spear and shield versus spear and shield, because it's uh it's a very slow fight. Okay, looks like we've got Osea and a very lucky man apparently. I'd have to agree, you are rather lucky. Let's keep that shield up, William. Don't get surrounded. Okay, here we go. There we go, Asaya. Oh boy. And now, unfortunately, it is William against Liana. Well, do you the favor of not holding back. Because, well, we can't afford to hold back. 
She is uh, quite the fighter. Okay. Oh, oh boy. We uh, <laughs> we're only just holding on there. Keep swinging, William. Keep swinging. Okay. Okay. We just need to get a shot in here. I think if Leanna gets one shot in on us, though. Yeah, we're looking. Hey, William, easy. God. Yeah, those insults are pretty severe. And look at that. We're up against Osea in the final, and we're using a bloody spear and shield. Of course we are. Luckily, we did get something of a decent start there. Yeah, we'll see how we do here. Oh, come on, William. I let my guard down early. I think Osea might have this in the bag. Okay. Shield up, William. Shield up. Just hope we get an opening like that. I also hope that Osea is a little injured. And that she is. Oh boy. <laughs> a bit of a tough fight to end it here, William. But the tournament's over. We've gained some renown. And I think we are gaining greater influence from this at the same time. So, that's something. Well, I tell you what. I would really like our army to be a little stronger than it is right now. Ismail Korg is actually under attack at the moment as well. I'm hoping that taking off Castle will just help push them back. So that's what we're going to try to do here. We've got at least another 100 soldiers that will recover if we start the siege. And looks like they have 200 defenders there, mostly militia. So let's see if we can siege down off Castle. We do have to be wary that our cohesion will be dropping bit by bit. We need this camp to be built. And yeah, I'm tempted to take this thing to the walls, just making ourselves some nice uh, siege towers and going that route. So let's go ahead, have you ready, and let's see. Actually, you know what? I don't think there are any slots for siege towers here. Maybe one? No. Interesting. Looks like this is just a ladder fight. Okay, well, I wouldn't mind getting a ballista. Or maybe it's just better to do the attack. Actually, these walls are quite damaged. Okay, we might not even have to go the trebuchet route. I think even just the onagers will be enough to knock down these walls. Let's go ahead, get things running, and we'll be in before we know it. So our first onager is under construction. Their walls are already damaged, so I'm hoping two will be enough to do this thing. I suppose we'll find out in a moment, won't we? Okay, our two onagers are up and running. Their wall is very nearly taken out. There we go. That's one down. Let's see if the two are going to be able to gang up on this other one here. They might end up focusing on the other catapult. It looks like they're kind of doing a bit of both at the moment. That's working out for me. Come on, a little bit more. Okay. Let's crack that wall. Just a little bit more here. Well, we've lost another onager. I do have another one being constructed. Looks like we might need it. Unfortunately, it is focusing just on the other one there. Ah, there we go. Take down that wall. And their numbers here have dwindled dramatically. Okay. Cracked. Fantastic. So we don't have a ram. We're not going to need one. We've got two holes in the walls. Let's get ready to ride on in. <laughs> and here we are. Okay, so... The walls are breached. Let's just have a look at our group. I think it's probably going to be better if we can keep our... Yeah, our folks in a shield wall just while they're moving up. Whether or not that'll work out, whether or not they'll even stay in that, I'm not sure. I suppose we'll see, won't we? Shield wall for you as well. And we're going to go ahead and just begin this assault. William's quite far back. Oh, and you actually did have a troop back here as well. Mostly archers by the looks of things. So we'll see if we can ride in with our man William. Through the breach. Lots of archers up there on the walls. Our own will start to move up that way. Here we go. And, wow, oh, not that many here, but enough to kind of disrupt us. Yeah. Oh, not enough for a kill there. Enough to get caught. Okay, those archers are going to be a little bit troublesome. Let's see if we can make our way behind here. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, holy crap. That was a freaking onager that just hit that. Excellent work. Okay, let's go two-handed here and see if we can get some kills. It's going to be a little bit uh, grindy here in terms of the frame rate. 
Oh boy, oh my gosh, it's like a flood. Oh, there's so many. Just at the front here. Oh my god. Yeah. Nope, this is just a great tide. <laughs> and the door is open. And the Vlandians are just pushing through. Yeah, the militia don't stand a chance here at all. With those walls down, they just crumple. Let's see if we can get like a kill here, William. Nope. <laughs> well, you're commanding, my friend. You rode them through the breach. You showed them the way. Carry on. Just this last group over here to the left. Wow. Of Castle. You have fallen. Just in the nick of time too, I think. Hopefully that's going to help push back some of these lords. We'll find out soon enough. One, two left on the wall. And done. No one able to retreat. A few arrows and William. Not bad. We only lost 31 overall. Could have been worse, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Some more influence. I'm sure we actually got more than that as well. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the militia. We could just drop them off for relation. Sure. We'll think about that then. Yes, it would seem we actually did get a fair bit more there. We're at 128 influence at the moment. I am happy with that. Our army is getting a little bit weaker now, though. Yeah, a little bit more than I would like. We're going to drop off some prisoners here, and I think we're probably going to retire our army after that. Yeah. Well, the other option, of course, is just to push on a little bit further. <laughs> just to see uh, how defended these castles are here. I know, I know it's a little bit bold of us, but I feel like we need to be bold at times like this. Morcon, you're looking like you've got a pretty decent party there. Let's see, we'll just push across this path. Wow. Belgard does not have a lot of offenders. I feel like... We need to take advantage of that. If this war is going to continue, we need to keep on pushing the back. And right now, William is leading that front. I tell you what, I'm not as interested in taking property at the moment. I think we're just going to try and bring people in. Let's see. We're going to go by distance here. So Morcon, you cost us barely anything. You've got 124. We're going to go ahead and boost up our cohesion at the same time. I think that's probably going to be enough for us to win this fight. Although, obviously, they could mount something of a, you know, defense. I suppose that's something that we'd have to be ready for. Let's see. Okay, we are going to besiege the town. We're looking at 242 here. How would we want to go about this? I don't think we want to do the full-on wall destruction. What we're probably going to end up doing is just um, using a ram and then using two towers. Yeah, we'll go with that, William. So we have to vote for who is going to get of castle. Vildor is really not happy with it at the moment. Aaron, of course, hates us. It looks like we've got Catalid and Deathurt both gunning for Vildor. But you know what? I think we want to try and help Krotor out here. Can we? How much do we want to help you out? I'll just help you out a little bit, just so that we improve our relation with you. But still, it's going to go to Vildor. I'm okay with that. All right. <laughs> Looks like Morcon is here, and he's actually just chasing around some of these smaller parties. Buddy, I, I, I'd I, appreciate it if you did actually just join up with our army. I don't want you to be taken out. But yeah, you keep on doing what you're doing there, my friend, and we're going to keep on working on these siege engines. Well, it's the break of another day, and Morcon has returned. Fantastic. We've got some lords mounting outside. I think our first tower is nearly complete. Good. Let's see if we can get that other up and running. And then, well, we're going to start this fight. Well, the tower is complete. We're going to go through now and just pull as many of these prisoners into our party. Because extra numbers is always going to be good, even if they are just recruits. We'll take them, we'll take them all, and hopefully we'll be able to get a few more upgrades during this uh, next encounter. Well... Here we are. And there are those walls. They do actually have some catapults, so it's going to be intriguing to see how that kind of plays out for us. But I'm hoping these towers are going to make the difference. We're going to go ahead and begin the assault. We don't have a crossbow still, so we're just going to have to roll with things, quite literally. We'll let them roll up. Same thing with the uh, ram here. And once we are closer to the walls, I'll go ahead and uh, 
return to you all. But for now, we'll let our archers try and pick off some of the militia archers up there. We'll see how we fare. So far, our archers have been doing a fantastic job. There we go, we just had a death. <laughs> no, but they have been doing a very, very good job against the other archers. Let's hope that continues. We can see them up there on the walls. I'm not seeing any of the catapults that we saw before, so they might be further into the town. Perhaps on another parapet. I'm very interested in this tower, because I feel like if we can get up here, I might be able to get up to the top wall there. And if they have those fire bombs, we'll be able to put them to good use. Well, with another kill from Dwayne, our ram has reached the front gates, and I think our first tower has just reached the walls over there. This one will follow shortly. We're going to go ahead and jump off our trusty horse here. Just keep our shield up, and we'll have a look at pushing up this group here. Okay, let's make our way up. Keep our eyes towards the walls there. As we do, try to carefully make our way up here. Looks like we're going to be going behind this bloke here, this trained warrior. Luckily we have protection from the sides. Good siege tower construction. Okay, looks like the fight's starting up here. There's a decent amount of them as well by the looks of things. Let's get on up there. Let's try and start swinging. Okay. It's a bit of a mosh pit, I'll be honest. Trying to get some swings through here. Yep, there we go. Doing good, William. Keep swinging. Overhead strikes, please. Push through where we can. Oh! Wait, we just lost the quest? Oh my god, our brother died. Nogan just died in battle. That's horrible. Our brother. You bastards. Alright, now it's personal. Come on then. Come on then. Yeah? Bloody one guy. Now you've gone and done it, haven't you? William. Hold. Keep that shield up, buddy. Oh, an archer. you got to be kidding me. William's fallen as well. Down. We can't actually move the camera around like normal. Okay, we can kind of toggle through. That's a change. But no Gant. Well, it looks like we pushed through anyway. Is that real mess going on down here. Outside, things are looking a little bit more peaceful. No Gant. That's horrible. Yeah. And he was leading one of the others. I'm also a little concerned. I haven't seen Lacallion for a little while. I don't know if he could have fallen in one of the other fights. So far, the deaths aren't that severe, but our brother. Yeah. Logan died in battle. Jeez. To think that that can happen. Looks like they're trying to push through here in this kind of maelstrom. There we go. Another archer down. So I think we're getting through. William, seemingly still alive, just knocked out. And only a tiny force remaining there. That's it. It's a victory. But it's a costly one. Always wear a helmet. Yeah. God damn. Logant. Morcon, you're okay. And Galtha, you're also okay. Well, I don't know what that means for us. Naritz's folly, we can't complete that quest anymore. Which, okay, I guess that's a thing. Wow. William, this is not a good day. Well, we took Belgard, but at what cost? 
at what cost. Logand died in battle. That he did. That he did. No longer in our family here. He fell. And, yeah, the rest is folly. We needed you alive, Nogand. Our agreement with him was cancelled upon his death. <sighs> well, I think with that we are going to be disbanding the army. <sighs> Damn. Hang on, wait. It's still showing him there. I guess his army is here, but there's... He's not leading it. Let's disband it. And it says there's Nogan's party, but... Yeah. I don't know. Let's go ahead and drop some prisoners off here and... Well, think about what comes next. We are going to wait here for some time. Let the others ride on out there. And it looks like a decision has to be made here. <sighs> we'll allow that to happen. I hope that our allies don't go too far from here. I'm worried about Lyanna now. Lacalian! Okay, Lacalian. <laughs> you were leading another party. Okay. That's... That's okay. I think we want to try and pull them back if we can. Doesn't look like we can at the moment. And I think it's because, oh right. They don't have enough in their party. That's fine. That's fine. For now, we must decide. Alright, and we're back in here again. And <laughs> looking like it's going to go to Aeron over here. Or Crotor, if we put our money behind it. And you know what? I'm tempted to do it now. You're becoming more powerful, my friend. You own Pendraic Castle and Pendraic Castle. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Yeah. 60. There you go, Crotor. Congratulations. Yes, <laughs> and they're pissed off with us. Well, I think for now, it is going to be best for William to just wait and recover. I'm looking at this fight over here, though. <laughs> you know what? Maybe recovery isn't exactly what we should be doing. It's a pretty equal field battle. Let's see if we can help out. Actually, doesn't look like it's so even anymore. Yeah, we should be able to descend on the troops on this one. Let's see how that uh, transpires. Victory. As expected... Some influence, some renown, and some morale. And Aldric, who is rather happy to see us. Oh, but look at that. We've caught a prisoner. Fantastic. You're ours. Well, frustratingly enough, while we were waiting, O'More was taken back. So, it looks like we're going to have to ride out there and see what we can do about that. We've got quite a few of our friends staying here in Of Castle, so we should be able to pull them into something of an army. I suppose we'll see though, won't we? We'll make our way over here. There's lots of them just roaming around here, these very small parties. We'll help out if we can, like in this fight, for example, with the Nogans party. And I feel like this is a small enough fight that we are just going to send in the troops. Helping out Vartan's party, taking out some of theirs. Let's go ahead. Yeah. 27 for 6. Pretty happy with that. Decent renown. We'll take it. And wow, we actually managed to recover quite a few troops from that. I want to take the higher tier troops. The others I'm not so sure about because obviously we have our own troops to worry about here. But uh, that is going to put us over a limit. So I'm going to see if we can just get rid of some of our lower tier. There we go. We are looking okay. We are going to grab all of these prisoners though. I'm more than happy to do so. We are over the limit, but we're going to be able to drop them off here at Of Castle. Oh, actually, no, we won't. No, we won't. Well, I suppose some might try and escape. Looks like we've got Morkond here, and we've got quite a few of our friends, so I'm tempted to just pull them into a big uh, pile. We'll go ahead and send in our troops here against the 11 troops that were left in this other party. Just riding in to help out where we can. Let's see. Oh, I was going to say we're going to need to form some kind of army here, but doesn't look like we're going to have to. Oh, we've actually already got a fight going on here. Omor's Siege. Okay, well, let's see if we can help out in the siege. We'll help Ospia's army. Oh, there's one left. <laughs> one troop left. Well, we showed up at the very end here. And oh, someone died of old age. 
Well, it's all happened today, isn't it? Okay, well, Omor is taken, and it looks like we might have a bit of a field battle here, more than likely. Let's see if we can catch this other army. Will you help us out, though, is the question. I don't think you will, no. But for now, Omor is taken. I'm half tempted to try and fight you. You got lots of nomads who are kind of just beginner troops. Your numbers do greatly outnumber our own, but we've won fights like that before. Oh, Ospia's army is out here. Let's see if we can catch you. I think we can. Ospia is close enough that you should be able to help us. Yes? Oh, most certainly yes. Fantastic. I think this is awfully personal now for William after losing his brother. And it looks like most of the troops here are just going to move burn. up. Frustratingly enough, move. I guess we've got the numbers to do it. We've got some horse archers, so we'll make use of them for now. I think we'll just tell everyone to follow me. Stay close. Our Come horse archers, we will make sure that they charge though. How about where we can here? They're getting away. <laughs> Look at this big ball. Yeah, I mean, it's your army. You do what you want. Let's see. Actually, no, we've got we've got some numbers here. We can work with them. Okay, our own infantry. We're just going to go tell you to advance. In a shield wall. Archers, let's get you to go nice and loose. Cavalry, we need to charge. Archers are having a hard time doing anything here, really. I'll tell you, you can advance as well. There's still a lot of enemy troops on the field, but um, I feel like we... I feel like we've got them. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Anyone? Here we go. Nope. <laughs> I feel like the aiming for this might have changed. Or I'm just not... Yeah, I'm just not hitting anyone with it. <laughs> okay, let's ride through this group. The frame rate does make it a little bit harder. But I should still be able to manage. That was a weird angle. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening here, William. Oh, right by the edge of the map, I think. We're not even seeing the red anymore. Very interesting. Okay. Keep on moving through here. I'm a bit worried about our companions now, especially with Nogan falling back there. Just in any fight, we can lose them now. I suppose it does make encounters a little bit more deadly. And that those closest to us we might want to have in their own special unit. I suppose we'll see, won't we? bit of damage there. It's an archer down. Let's ride back around William. The fight in general seems to be going rather well. Looks like we're going to lose our horse any moment now. Here we go. Missed you. Oh boy. Hello friends. Okay. Well, we've got the bulk of them on the run. Let's see if we can grab this horse here. Yep, step horse, jump on you, get to work. Let's see, there we go, some damage. And the good music. Wow, that's a lot of Landians. God damn. A massive, massive amount. I hope the numbers are okay on our behalf. Our troops have been a little bit more cautious. We've got quite a few of them on the field now, actually. Yeah, more of William's numbers than I thought. I suppose our allies did actually need us here. Wow, the attacker army, oh, was them, of course. And we, the defenders, didn't really lose that much at all. Excellent, good stuff. And look at that, Tover, you are our prisoner. Welcome. And speaking of prisoners, we've got a whole heap here. We will take them all and we'll just have a look at dropping them off. Excellent. I am rather happy about that. Okay. 
I think we'll be able to make it back over here to Omor, but first we've got an upgrade. Yes, William, your riding has gone up, son. Fantastic. So what do we want? Probably not veterinarian here. I think well strapped is probably what we're after. There we go. Looks like we've got some other upgrades. Ah, Arnwin. Throwing. Congratulations. Let's go for quick draw. O and Osea. I'm guessing throwing was updated just recently. Well, that is all said and done. Heading back here. It looks like Omor is going to have a new owner, but before it does, we're going to make sure that we drop off some prisoners. Tovor specifically, and Branok here. Now, let's see. Hmm. Looks like it's probably going to go to Krotor. <laughs> uh, the others are behind it, and I think we're going to get behind it as well. You're going to be a very, very good friend of us. 75. Yeah, not bad. Well, I think in honor of our brother, perhaps foolishly, we are going to push on. Push on, perhaps, against this army. I was going to have a look at taking Takor Castle to end today, but it looks like this might be the real fight. We're going to start moving in on them here. It's of Castle that's under siege. And it looks like the rest here are kind of trying to just think about attacking this army. Whether or not they would jump in with us, I'm not sure. And it's hard to tell how many are actually here. Vildor could assist us. Let's have a look at making an army. We've got the influence. William, let's defend these lands. Well, we have potentially a very strong army on our hands. And they are going to start building up. Over here, please. Over here. Common army. Following William's party, there we go, we've got 600, and if we could get the others to join us, that would be great, and it looks like, oh, did, did we break the siege there? I think we did, and I think, yeah, Sylvind is going to try and join up with us as well. Whether or not we do, I'm not sure. You are going to be engaging the party here, let's just kind of play things by ear. Oh, looks like the fight's going to be happening. Mitsui, let's get ready to throw down. We're looking at 858 against 797. We're going to be leading this battle because we are leading this army. Unfortunately, we don't have Sylvind with us, but we do have another helping us out here as well. So let's get this fight started. Okay, the battlefield looks nice. So archers, nice and loose, thank you. Let's get you out here. We want you to be holding the fire. Footmen! Footmen? As Raise always, into a nice shield, shield wall, Batman. and we want you to dismount. dismount. Looks like our ally is going off in another Get direction. Away. That's their own prerogative. We'll let them do that if that's what they want to do. As for our cavalry here, let's get into a nice skein. And, um, yeah, we'll have a look at sending you in against their horse archers, but they've just got so many. 73 horse archers there. That's wild. We'll see if we can do an initial charge against them here, but um, ideally we just bring them back towards us. Okay, this is going to be an interesting battle for us, I think. Interesting in that it's going to be difficult. Our cavalry is chasing down theirs, cavalry! and it looks like they're leading them right to... Forward! Yeah, right to their infantry line. We don't want that, so we'll pull our cav back. Maybe get them over this side, actually, if we can. Forward! They'd be so kind. I think they're just going to try and ride straight through the enemy, though. Okay. Fire at, Fire at the archers. And actually, cavalry! yeah, cavalry charging through like that is exactly what we want. So let's get you over this side. We'll do another charge in just a moment. A lot of kills for us so far. Disrupting that line. And hey, cavalry! look at that. We've got Tactician. Fantastic. Cavalry, let's get ready. Alright, as soon as it looks like they're infantry! too close, we're gonna get our own infantry line out in front. Move! Archers infantry! moving back. Forward! Our shield wall is rather thin compared to theirs. Move up and in. Oh, okay, there are our reinforcements. Let's not leave the battle. Oh, actually, this this is close. Get back in, get back in. Uh, there we go. Okay, okay. All right, infantry. We're in a good position right now. Just hold where you are. The shield wall is working. Look how many basic troops they have here. It's pretty much all either... Yeah. <laughs> Just these basic Sturgeon warriors, which uh, we are still struggling, mind you, to take down. I think I just saw Masubi go down as well. 
Yeah, run while you can. So their general, their leader, has now been uh, taken out. William, be careful, be careful. Look at that beautiful shield wall. Love it. Okay, so where are all those horse archers? They're still out Cavalry. there in the field. Cavalry, I need you to just reconvene for a bit over there. Horseman, Morkan just go. died in battle? God damn, this is this is brutal now. Archers, let's get you back up in front. Look at all those dead bodies there. Oh, good stuff. Infantry, I want you to be facing that way. Walk that way! Here we go. Archers, Soldiers. let's get you just holding Hold fire, arrows. just for now. Infantry. Get back Move. up into a line. Footmen. Forward. Our friend's just hanging over there still. Morcon bloody died. Cavalry. Cavalry, we'll get ready to just do a charge Attack. across here. Take down some of those horse archers. Infantry okay, fire. archers fire at will. Footmen. Yeah, look at them pivot to try and just get these horse archers. There's so many of them. It's ridiculous. Okay, I will allow our archers to pivot because uh, that's the only thing that's going to really make a difference right now. So many horse archers. God damn. I do want the infantry to stay for now. It's a little dangerous. I think staying up on this hill is probably going to be the best thing for us. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Uh, okay, their infantry is hanging out over here. Let's see if we can do something about this. I want you all to be lined out Move. like that. And we'll get our own infantry, infantry to back them up. Move. We might not have to. I suppose we'll see. Horsemen! Horsemen, just keep Charge. on charging. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, alright, archers, infantry. as soon as you're in position, I want you to be firing. We're going to get you to advance just a little bit more. Actually, no, just stay where you are. Hold. I know some of you won't be in the best position, but that's just going to have to work for now. Oh, you were Infantry already firing. Fire, okay. Move. move on up. You can see a little bit better now. Infantry! Forward! Okay, start Infantry. getting some more kills for me, please. Move! God damn these horse archers. Okay. We just took down another one of their leaders. Infantry. That's good. Move! Line them out. Our archers might be getting low on ammunition. It's 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 very difficult to tell. Footman. Be nice if we had an ammo indicator of some kind that let us, you know, have an idea. Oh no, we're still picking up kills here, that's good. Just keep up this positioning for now, because it seems to be working for us, at least a little bit. Hey, I had my shield up. Actually, I guess you can't have your shield up while you're trying to position. Great. Okay, William, looks like we need to single-handedly take down all of the cavalry that are here. It's got to be a mission, considering we struggle to hit these bastards. Nice, thank you, archers. Excellent. Just keep on picking up the ammunition that uh, lands down near you. Take down some of these raiders. Oh, nice work, archers, nice work. Okay, still a dodgy fight. We're a nice big thick infantry line. Let's keep it that way if we can. How about with these bastards? Bane of my existence. Thank you. We really took them out. Okay. Archers are having a little bit of a hard time. We're gonna go ahead and just advance up further with our archers. Same thing with our infantry. Okay. Pick up arrows as you go. Who are you, huh? Are you just a lancer? Yeah. Damn. Right away for now. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, we've still got a few behind us here. Take them out if we can. Yeah, we really can't see a thing. Oh, the orange archers are doing a pretty damn good job. Time to get our infantry out in front. I think we're going to start advancing towards them. I'm just going to get them moving up like this before we tell them to advance because I'm afraid they're just trying to advance towards the uh, horse archers. Alright, and now we're going to get them in advance command. Please just keep advancing towards that group there. As for our archers, back up our infantry. 
They're rolling up and over the hill now. We're gonna give our archers the advance command. Okay. Push the advantage. If we have one. <laughs> right now, very hard to tell. Hunter down. Okay. Battle in the forest. How is it going? Infantry line is actually staying together as an infantry line. That I'm happy about. Taking out a hero. Our archers should be advancing and grabbing arrows as they do. Wow. But they've got so many reinforcements still. I think that's the issue. I think if we can just keep on pushing them while they're not in formation like this. We might be able to get Cavalry! Not much of our cavalry left though. We've still got a very nice infantry bulk. Move! Okay. Alright. Archers. Really like it if we could start something over here. Forward! Nice big long line. Infantry, just hold where you are for now. Looks like we've got a little bit of mini skirmish going on here with some recruits who are just pushed up right against them. Infantry, We're gonna tell our infantry to advance in! just so that they close in on them. Come on. Yeah, no, that's working. <laughs> just. Uh, archers, Soldiers! I want to have you pretty much flanking them now, if that's possible. Move! Let's see if they start to move towards our archers. Our own ranks are moving in against theirs, that's good. We'll just pull back a little bit here with our archers. God, Move! maybe it's better to not have such a long line. Forward! Loose formation's working. Infantry! Infantry I'm going to have to keep Move! on babysitting you, I think. Keep on moving through here. Our blob is working. Footman! Okay, advance. advance! We've encouraged them to move in towards their bulk. We seem to be wrapping around them at the Infantry! moment. Infantry! We'll get our Forward! archers to move down here. Infantry! Hold fire! Yep, Infantry they are firing fire at will, which means that they're probably lacking ammunition. I'd give them the advance command, but I don't think that's going to help us out that much. Our infantry seems to be doing a great job at the moment. They're right in the thick of it. Infantry! You know what, archers? I'm going to go ahead and tell you to advance. We've got 300 uh, troops here at the moment. I will go ahead and just infantry! change the command in a second. Okay, here we go. Advance. There we go. So, I'm not sure where that advance is going to send them. It looks like the enemy is uh, being sent running right now, which that I like. Okay, infantry, we're going to get you out of the shield wall now. We're just going to go line, just so that you can be a bit faster in chasing the enemy. Because we've pushed them right back at this stage. Archers, let's form up again. And form up over here. Okay. Archers, I'm going to get you in a line. Just so you're a little bit tighter. Dealing with these bloody horse archers still is interesting. I think that might be a full on retreat quite possibly. The music hasn't infantry! changed for us yet to let us know. We've got 380 infantry here at the moment. The rest of our cav are chasing down some of their horse archers. Yeah, they, they might be trying to just join back up over here. Let's see, infantry, infantry rather archer infantry. Advance! Let's get to advance. Yep, they're all retreating now. We can go ahead and charge. That's the last of it. They called back for a full retreat. They actually had a lot of troops on the field still, but I think for them, a retreat was uh, <laughs> a better option. We did take down their lead general. So, yeah, I kind of don't blame them. All the same, the last troops that are there are taken down battle is won. And, well, there were some prisoners taken there. Mitsui was taken. Excellent, by Vildor. But, yeah, we had another Lord death in that fight. A deadly one. Let's go ahead and grab all these prisoners. And after that, yeah, I think it was Morkon, right? Lost in battle. Well, it looks like we do have another upgrade here. Let's have a look and see what we got, William. It is your tactics. Tactical superiority. 
5% more damage in the simulations. Okay, we'll see if that uh, works out for us. But for now, we are going to maneuver back down towards Amur. Our other friend joining up with us, Sylvind. Morkon's party is here. It's been a rough day. It really has. And arriving here in the hall, the Lord's Hall, which is actually... We do have some folks up here. However, we do not have our brother, William. We do not. It looks like our nice red robe is no longer red. It's gone back to the standard purple colors. Such is the way, I suppose. <sighs> what a day, William. What a day. Let's take a seat, and more than likely, we'll be having a few drinks for our brother. Oh boy. Well, the war continues with the East for now, William pushing our enemies further and further back. But no doubt other enemies will crop up before long. And after losing his brother, I think William will have to ask himself some very hard questions. What is all the fighting for? Is pushing out against our enemies worth it? We might find out, but that shall all be in the future. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. We had some deadly encounters and some very rough battles. No doubt there will be many more. I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, Stay tuned.